since the intercession and the, and the, and the music that's played, played in the front of the house at Iron Horse is very ambient, but it's, I was very anointed. And I really felt the presence of God there. Still do. So I encourage you, if anybody wants to, I really encourage you to go there to get in that river. To really receive the impartation of his presence where there's not, where, there, where there's not religiosity. Where there's free, where there's religious, there's no, the filter is pure and it's clean of any religiosity. Um, I don't know how many times that I worked at Iron Horse, there was a song that seemed to be playing, even be playing in the kitchen by one of the cooks or, or somebody that does happen to exactly line up with what I was going through. So that, the why that raised an altar, the represents the altar of incense, and that's what, but I'm going to rewind here, um, but, but, um, it, when you go into the, the petition of the tab, the front of the tabernacle, the first entrance of the blood is covered with, I have a picture of the tabernacle in my book, and the very first part of it, was, which represents Rosh Hashanah, by the way, that was the New Year, when all that started, represents the blood over the, the door, and that represents the, the experience that I was, the, the spiritual horrific experience that I was going through at the time of being persecuted from, I felt that I was <coughs> being separated from my own spiritual life, and God had shown me when I was getting off of Iron Horse that one day. That was Rosh Hashanah, by the way. He had showed me that that experience was exactly what you were going through. They were playing some music in the kitchen that was very sad. And and I remember when Tom said, he knows exactly what you need and knows exactly what you're going through. And that's when God fell on me. I had gotten off my, it was September the 20th, I had gotten off my morning shift at Iron Horse on Sunday. They told me I said I wanted you to get dressed, change, and get over the get over to Iron Horse and sit there because I had felt a desperation come in my spirit. I got there and that's when God that's when God fell. So and then so Scott Warden Scott represents that part of that time and portion of the Tabernacle. The least represents the raising altar. Uh, Andrew Shays represents the um, and a lot of these other people represent the golden labor, the word you know, going forth, the luminal is going forth, and then uh, the people, those CDs represent the menorah, the, those people that those CDs went to, went, that got those CDs, they represent the makeup of the menorah. Um, I guess that about wraps it up. Cool. Let's give it up for Scotty Edmonds. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, let the people say amen. <laughs> All right, I'm not done yet. I'm going to finish this publication.